Praise the Lord. I would like to discuss about the book of Deuteronomy. The book of Deuteronomy. We are going to discuss a condensed summary about the book of Deuteronomy. This is the one of the book um, or Pentateuch book which, mo- which commonly accepted that Moses is written. Uh, the first five books that is called Pentateuch book. So it's commonly accepted that Moses is written uh, Deuteronomy. And the name, uh, the main theme of this book is, the name of the book means second law because it recorded the repetition of the Ten Commandments that we can see in chapter 5. It contains the parting counsel of Moses to Israel in view of their entrance to Canaan, a summary of the wildness wandering Many new laws that needed to be added to those given some 40 years before. Many warnings in view of possibility of sin. Prophecies concerning the future of Israel and the Palestine's covenant. So basically this is the second or the remembering the, the covenant. So as I said before the author is Moses. Is a commonly accepted. The name of Deuteronomy is derived from two words, two separate words. The first word is Deutros, meaning second, and Nomos, law. So Deuteronomos means, or Deutros and Nomos mean second law. The historic location of this book is the former generation of Israel had died in the wilderness. Hence, it was important that the law should be repeated and expound to the new generation before they enter to the promised land. The contents of this book is a series of discourses and exhortations given by Moses on the plain of Moab before the crossing of the Jordan. The main theme of this book is, we already discussed, the rehearsal of the laws proclaimed at Sinai with a call to obedience in the first with a review of the experience of all generation. So the key thoughts may be the obedience. I can say that one because it's repeating um, the covenant with what Moses written because before they are this a new generation um, or the new generation happening during the Moses covenant and when before they are entering to the covenant the God want to uh, remember, recollect or um, the second time they want to he want to recollect that everyone want to recollect about his laws and to be learn about the obedience so key thought is the divine requirement of obedience so what divine requirement we need for obedience the many synopsis we can see that one some of that one a rehearsal of God's dealing with Israel in the past a repetition of the dis- decalogue and references to the choice of Israel to be separated people obedience to the divine commandment, uh, a code of laws to be observed in Canaan, and the blessings pronounced an obedience and curse on be- disobedience, death and life set before the people. The final words of Moses is songs, blessings, everything, and supplemental supplemental account of the last vision and the death. So the many synopsis we can see that one. But one thing. Um, that touch me that the key words of this book is remember or recollect or the God give the second time. So I, I stick on the word remember. It is frequently repeated through the entire book of this Deuteronomy. For example, chapter 4 verses 9 and 10 we can see the remember the giving of the law. So the remember, whatever the law God give to the uh, the Mount Sion or the Mo, uh, the Mount Mountain. So God want to remember, remember the giving of the law. And chapter four verses twenty three, the second one is remember the covenant. The God give a, give a great covenant. So remember the covenant. And the third one is chapter five verses fifteen. Remember the past slavery. Remember the past slavery. And chapter 7 verses 18 says, Remember the great deliverance. And chapter 8 verses 26 to 6 says, the Remember the divine leadership and supplies of God. And chapter 9 verses 7 says, 
remember the past of the sin or the remember the sin of the past uh, or the sin of the past so chapter 24 verses 9 says remember the divine judgment and um, chapter 32 verse 7 says remember ancient days so basically the remember we can see in all over the place so the remember the giving of the law remember the covenant remember the past slavery remember the great deliverance remember the divine leadership and supplies remember the sin of the past remember remember the divine judgments and remember the ancient days some notable passages uh, the great commandments and the importance of the remembering the God's word and uh, we can see